everybody it's Eva from Bohemian crafting here again and today I'm coming to share with you a journal uh, made using those uh, rusty tacks and uh, rusty painting uh, in this journal I used also that rusty patina you can see that here around because uh, I used leather this is leather from my very old uh, designed handbag it was handbag made by uh, Gucci I think it was Gucci Gucci <laughs> And it was really destroyed. You can see that here. Uh, it was really ripped, and it, it was totally destroyed. But uh, I felt so sorry to to put it to the bin because that leather, that that design was amazing, and as uh, it was those um, cubes, it's like cube. It reminds me diamond pattern and also that chest pattern for that game. So I designed uh, few few tags using uh, those uh, figures from chess uh, chess game and because uh, i'm not sure why i i always thought <laughs> with this game about uh, about gypsies i'm not sure why <laughs> but somehow they they it was like together so this and uh, not gypsies gypsy fortune tellers not gypsies like all together all, all of them but those those uh old ladies who will tell you your future from the hand, from the coffee, from cards, you know, those uh, future teller, fortune teller, tellers. So I made <laughs> something like fortune teller, future teller <laughs> journal using my own design and also a few cards. Uh, this is spine made with very, uh, very vintage looking uh, cloth. This is backside. I used few chains, I used loads of decoration, I used uh, some of those ball chains, I used loads of those um, acetate pieces, I really love to use them, so this is inside of my journal. Here you can see the rusty patina pieces, uh, how I use them. I will put lots of metal in this journal, I put lots of ephemeras and some vintage pictures in this journal, and also what I put in this journal uh, it's cards from from a game or from a future teller uh, a game or I'm not sure if it's a game uh, it's like kit for fortune future teller I made also those small paper clips so there is a few of those file folders a lot of those file folders this is one of those chess patterns designs here you can see that rusty effect it's just a slide there. It's another that folder here and some ephemeras inside. So this uh, this journal it's loaded with things. And here I made a film strip using also that painting, uh, a rusty, a rusty effect painting. And I really love that. I didn't use anything else though than those colors, those paints, uh, acrylic paint, distress paint, and. Uh, distress ink so if you didn't see that tutorial how you can do that rusty painting using inks and acrylic paints go to have a look because these are what i created in that <laughs> in the tutorial with the dubbing dubbing uh, once they, those colors will dry it will pop up really and if you will if you saw that tutorial you will see that i didn't pay too much attention how to do it so here uh some lady who is telling you know, this i already showed you mm -hmm. it was in this belly band and here i've got those tags these are from that kit for uh, future fortune teller i used those uh, like uh, charms so it's journaling space on the back side or you can use it uh, there is a lot of more this is one of my designs with those chest patterns or just uh, chess figures and also that paper behind I used uh, very vintage paper very vintage looking paper here another rusty painting it's just painting it's not any acetate any rusty effect patina or so it's just painting so if you never saw that how to do it go to have a look on that tutorial here I've got those tags Here is a small pocket, and I do have those tags I created in the tutorial. <coughs> but uh, as you can see, 
all those pieces you can use uh, like your pockets and here it's hanging this i think this one i actually created so here you can see once it dries and it looks amazing so it's space for writing on the back side here we've got space for editing things you can slide it behind this belly band like this and here i've got another that uh, fortune future i'm gonna say future teller because it's about what it's going to happen to me right and here we've got some ephemera again the pole chain again folder with nothing inside <laughs> and loads of those metals and here is some hanging another acetate piece here we've got another this is just tag for writing and another uh, design here this ephemera those uh, from tarot cards here you can see that background paper it's really in vintage style here another that fortune card and here another decoration so this journal it's <laughs> with lots of metal and lots of rust so here we've got teeny mini tag it looks like this another card and another folder I create all those folders from papers I've got in my stuff. Uh, from uh, I do a few scans, but many of those papers are bigger than my scan, so it's not easy to scan them to those, uh, you know, to my computer. Here is another design I made. Here is teeny, mini small writing uh, notebook, <laughs> notepad, <laughs> and here it's another pocket. Uh, here is another pocket so you can slide there something and we've got belly band here so I can slide there my ephemera and also the stack here another that fortune teller here a clock clock face acetate piece some tack and some decoration another ephemera this beautiful design look at that <laughs> look, look that effect you know, if this rust will be on my car, I will get crazy, but <laughs> in that journal, it looks so cool. <laughs> Here, another ephemera, just writing a tag, a teeny mini booklet, and it's just sliding there. And here we've got another picture with future teller, another booklet, this one. And here we've got just hanging flat de lee and from that other side it's opening tag, mini tag, maybe for some small note. Again, rusty effect uh, pocket. And here I've got another long tag, pocket here, and this tag. Here another of those future tellers fortune tellers with some acetate and this uh, embellishment again folder it's so much space for writing you know in those folders on those pages it doesn't look that way but it's there so many space for writing those tags all those tags all those ephemeras can be used like writing spot space here this gorgeous lady This teeny mini small tag, another ephemera, and another card with again with hanging with teeny mini small butterfly. Have you ever saw that movie Butterfly Effect? I never saw that, and I hear that it's an amazing movie. Why, <laughs> when I see that butterfly, <laughs> just pop up to my head. And here we've got another large tag with that uh, rusty effect. We've got another here a life is an adventure yes it is here we've got another pocket so you can slide something there like this and like this here another cameras and here i've got <laughs> i'm not sure if you see that school <laughs> acetate pieces like the school here some ephemera this uh, picture and this 
future teller. Here we've got this beautiful ephemera and this one. So it's belly band with pocket and again that rusty effect. And here we've got small acetate, this fortune teller, this picture and again some folder. So it's really lots of space for writing. And all those pieces I created using two, I think two dice. But one die, the uh, two dice, two dice from Tim Holtz, and all those colors are from Tim Holtz, uh, Tim Holtz branch. <coughs> those Ranger acrylics and Ranger distress colors and paints, and it's not too hard to create it. So if you like a rusty effect, and if if you don't mind to get dirty, <laughs> so come to try. <laughs> yeah, one die was this one. It's that. Uh, Movers and Shapers, and that another die was uh, Library Pocket, I think it's called, uh, Library Card, it's called the die, Bix, uh, Sizzix Bix die, it is. And we've got another pocket here, so you can slide there some notes, and this beautiful picture, and some ephemera. It's here, and here we've got this. Bird cage and this ephemera it's in this pocket here. I'm gonna slide it this way and secure that with this tag. And on that other side, we've got another pocket here, so this tag can be actually slide there if I will want so, like this. And here we've got again that tag what I created in my small tutorial, and we are nearly on the end. Here we've got this lady with folder so it's all same but <laughs> you know it's with loads of loads of uh, metals and uh, rusty effect so i really hope that new owner will like it here we've got this one and this beautiful lady she's like looking to the future and look at that look at that rust so it's here like this and here on the end got teeny mini tag and those waves so this is my fortune future teller journal with loads of embellishments loads of chains and loads of <laughs> ephemera <laughs> made with this beautiful vintage looking spine and i really love that that leather and here you can see also that this is my mary idea patina that rust rusty effect but that all that rest, it's using Tim Holtz colors and Tim Holtz dyes. This is also movers and shapers. And this is also uh, Tim Holtz die, that label die. So this is my sharing for today. I hope that new owner will like it. And I really hope you like it as well. I know it's kind of grungy, but uh, I, I really like this style. I like that grungy effect so much. So thank you so much for your amazing comments. If you didn't see my tutorial for the trusty effect painting effect, go to have a look because it's lots of fun. You don't have to stress out <laughs> how it will look like because it's just dubbing. <laughs> So thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate that so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and see you next time. Bye.